name is Alicia English, and I just watched eight hours of Bridgerton. After working the past couple of days on our gym renovation, Philip and I took a relaxing break yesterday evening, stayed up till 3 a.m. watching Bridgerton, and then finished a few episodes this morning. So today is a much more productive day, and actually I was inspired to tackle a project that I've been sitting on the shelf for quite a few months. As many of you know, over the past couple of months, I actually went and did a TV show episode for a salvaging show called The Salvage King. And there was a piece there that I was able to bring home. That piece that you guys have been dying to see what I chose from the amazing salvaging barn. And because of watching The Bridgerton, I think I'm finally inspired to tackle this project. One of the things that I love about that show is being able to see all of the amazing old furniture that you can see in the backgrounds of all of the scenes. So I was super inspired by the colors that the Bridgerton family wears, and I'm going to use one of those colors from their dresses on this piece of furniture and do a Bridgerton inspired piece from my TV show episode. Let's go. What do you think? <laughs> While I was there, there was so many amazing pieces. And I've seen the show before, so I know that this guy that does the work, he finds amazing pieces all across Canada that he actually usually restores or just sells to be restored. And so when I went into this barn and I saw so many amazing pieces, this piece was something that I could not leave there without. I have done hundreds of pieces of restored furniture. I have looked from Canada all the way west, Canada all the way east, and I have yet to find a piece that looked like this one. So this piece was apparently out of an old hotel in Timmins, I believe, which is super fun because this actually would have been a serving bar to be able to take things in the hotel. I think it's pretty amazing. One of the things that's really neat about it is that it has these glass beveled edge pieces that go in it and that this door opens up at the front where you could store, I'm assuming alcohol, glasses, different things like that. But this tray comes off to be able to serve with and it has amazing hardware and best of all, all of the glass pieces were actually there. So one was actually unsealed, but it's in one piece and all of these are in the right spot. So it's just a little bit of silicone to put one piece back in. So the gentleman was asking $110 for this piece and I actually was able to score it for only $60. Ah, 60 bucks? So I couldn't wait to get this home. It needs a really good clean because it's been in the barn. I wanna get the hardware off and we're gonna give this a new updated look because the piece is old, needs to be given the love that it deserves to be in the 21st century. <laughs> It's so dusty. <laughs> I'm gonna give it a really good clean and then I will have the task of taping all of these glass panels inside and outside. So that's gonna be a challenge because I'm gonna have to get in there with a roll of tape because getting these all out and then reinstalling all of them could affect how they go back in and I don't wanna do that because it's super old. Exacto knife so I can trim it once I get it there because right. I want it behind the glass because I don't think the glass is going to come out if I, oh, I could pop those out and then I could really clean the glass. Just these little bottom row pieces? Yeah. Right? Mm -hmm. That might be a much easier way. Just the bottom one that I can. Yeah, slide it out. Okay, plan B, I'm taking out the glass because I noticed as I was taping it, ew. So this needs to be cleaned out. I have to take these out. I think because I've been able to get these two off that I should be able to get all of them off really easily. Just a little bit of work. I mean, really gentle. And then I'll be able to just nail these back into spot. Okay, so while I started cleaning and taking off the glass on the inside, Philip and I realized that we were missing one of these right here at the front. And so Philip is actually going to... I think I'm gonna... I found this old dowel and I think I can mimic and cut this and maybe recreate another trim piece to kind of mimic the one that was supposed to go there. Yeah, and then we can just sand it and paint it and hopefully it will look exactly the same. I think it will. Are you up for the challenge? I'm up for the challenge. <laughs> okay, let's get it. Okay. Oh, baby, I love your madness. It's so incredibly beautiful. Oh, you shine like gold, so selfless to all. And wild like an animal. 
Philip did such a good job on this. He literally cut this out and it's almost an identical match. Once we get this all glued in and painted up, you're not even gonna notice that it's not the original piece. Good job, Philly. Thank you. So I'm gonna get painting this and what I'm going to do is use the color Breathe that I used on the wall in the gym downstairs. It's such a tranquil color and I think it's gonna match a lot of different things. And I don't exactly know what I'm gonna do with this piece yet. So I think keeping it kind of neutral but still a pop of color is gonna really do it wonders. So we're gonna get some paint on this piece. First, I'm just gonna use some really soft grit sandpaper and just kind of scrub all over the whole piece give it a little bit of texture and then start painting a little scuff sand will help your paint to adhere a lot better okay so the color that i'm going to use is called breathe and it is a beauty tone color as usual it is one of the new color trend colors for 2021 on the color card so i'm super excited use it on a bunch of projects kind of looks like white when you put it in the can but it darkens up when you get it on the piece you ready yeah oh, it totally looks white until it dries when i distress the details of the end they're gonna be so pretty can you imagine this as like a little bar cart in a hotel yeah super amazing I don't know what we're going to do with it because we don't have any alcohol in the house. We don't drink, but <laughs> a tea cart. Oh, maybe yeah. Or you cart. can put plants on the inside, maybe That's some succulents. True. And then maybe you That's can put some idea. plants on the top that you could carry to the sun, to the window. That's a really cute Different idea. purpose for the tray, maybe. I don't know. We'll it, figure it out. <laughs> it's a unique piece and it's a kidney shape. So I'm not too sure if I love it or I really hate it. I don't know. <laughs> A bar cart that's um, in the shape of kidneys doesn't really make a whole lot of sense. <laughs> yeah, well, <laughs> those go hand in hand. Good. <laughs> First coats never look good, so no panic zone. <laughs> no panic zone. <laughs> it was like, be the piece, be the piece. <laughs> Said you needed a break and left with no heads out. I was strong for your sake, but it made my heart drop. This is extremely soft grit sandpaper, and I'm running over any of the detailed edges to give it that vibe of looking super aged. I know that a lot of gold was used back in the Bridgerton era, but I don't think that's really that in style now, so I'm gonna give it the appearance of that without adding the gold. Do you feel like a Bridgerton? I feel like I officially have a piece of Bridgerton furniture. I loved how a lot of the furniture in the videos were actually the same colors of their walls. They had them really neat style back then. I absolutely love the design of this piece and it's nothing like any piece of furniture that I restored before, which made this project a lot of fun to do. I think it's so neat that this tray will come off and that we can use this to maybe take tea into another room or like Philip said, maybe even use this for plants where you move the tray into the sunlight with some succulents or something. I honestly have no idea what I'm going to do with this piece, if I'm going to keep it, rehome it. I really don't know what I should do, but I thought just doing it this really pale blue teal color like the dresses of the Bridgerton family and just kind of like going with the whole vibes of the era, I think it's super fun. So let me know what you think of this salvage piece that I picked out from the barn at the episode that I did for the Salvage Kings. And let me know if you're watching Bridgerton. Come on guys, if you haven't seen it, go watch a couple of episodes, wait for a few in and you'll fall in love with the characters and the style. Don't forget to check out the furniture in the background. I love you guys. Thanks for all your support and I'll see you on the next project.